For a session sponsored by American Express Travel, please welcome Vice President of Strategic Partnerships and Marketing, American Express Travel, Jamie Lubkeman, in discussion with Skift X Executive Editor, Greg Oates. All right, hey everyone. So one of the things that we do at Skift, I think really, really well is, and one of the things we focus on is understanding um, changing customer expectations and really understanding that changing customer mindset and how that's impacting mindshare and market share. So one of the ways we do that is we talk to a lot of people like um, uh, travel advisor groups, um, such as American Express Travel with here today. Um, Jamie, you've recently put together some customer research. Can you talk a little bit about that and what were some of the most interesting takeaways? Yeah. One of the most interesting things that, that we've recently learned is it's not just about the destination anymore. It's really about who our customers are traveling with and the experiences that they have when they, when they travel and what they want to accomplish. So in the study, 61% uh, of the people that responded said that their most important travel goal is spending time with the people that matter to them most. And 71% of them want to learn about different cultures. So over and over again, it's this, uh, this idea of connectivity and who you're traveling with and, and what you can actually do when you travel and not just about where you're going. Okay. That aligns a lot with our research too, this idea that people are looking for more meaningful travel. You know, meaningful, that's kind of a nebulous word, but meaningful experiences. We've been talking about how experiences are so important, but now, you know, adding more value to those experiences. And then um, really the second idea that when we've polled um, consumers, especially in the luxury space, um, they're looking for brands that can show them a new perspective of the world. So it seems like you know, we're right, right together on that. So considering these two trends and connectivity as an overarching trend, how is that shifting the bucket list? Yeah, so once upon a time, we all had these sterile bucket lists, right? A list of places that we had to go. I want to go to country B, and I have to, uh, and I have to visit city C. And, and it's just, it's, it's so much more than that now. It's having experiences that connect with, uh, with, with travelers' passions, right? So it's planning a surfing trip to Ireland, which you can actually do, um, or discovering a, an underwater museum in the Canary Islands, or having a romantic dinner with your significant other in the Marais uh, in, in Paris uh, at, a, at a local only type of uh, a restaurant. So it really is about accomplishing, um, accomplishing experiences that, that, that tie to passions. And you know, if you're gonna go, you're gonna go with the people that matter most. We don't have a lot of time these days. And so we wanna make the most of it uh, when we travel. So you see these shifts in terms of what customers want, what they're looking for, and you see the shifts in how destinations and suppliers are adapting to that change in demand. But from a, a customer experience delivery, you know, how are you enhancing sort of that convergence of the online and offline of customer experience? So customer experience has always been the backbone of American Express and American Express travel, and, and we are continuing to be laser focused on providing that service. We know that customers want to connect with us, whether it's on the traditional phone channel or whether it's on their desktop and laptops, their mobile devices, and, and their tablets. So we have to be there for them whenever, however, and whatever way that they want to, they want to connect with us. And so for us, it's really about the convergence of high tech with this idea of high touch. And you know, the ultimate goal is to marry the best-in-class technology and providing, you know, providing service and expertise that customers expect. So in the last couple of months, we've launched Click to Chat um, uh, in our online experience to allow our premium card members to connect with us, not just on the phones, but online. We've enhanced our digital directories for the Fine Hotels and Resorts program and the hotel collection so that people can look at over a thousand different properties worldwide and determine you know, what type of, of lodging property they want to stay when they, when they have these experiences. So bridging, bridging technology and bridging high ch touch is number one priority for us. Just briefly a little bit about chat, because been, we've been doing a lot of research, a lot of talking with um, different providers. 
Um, just any even anecdotal evidence about how um, consumers are adopting this new chat platform that you're rolling out, or just any thoughts about how that will expand in the future? Just there, we're getting a lot of questions about chat, so it's interesting to hear from someone like you how it's evolving. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I, I don't have statistics to share with you, but what I can say is it, um, the adoption has been, has been very strong. We have to be there, um, again, as the traveler needs change, and they want us to be, you know, they want us to be everywhere that they are. You know, I, I hate to use the, the, the millennial piece, but, but um, they would much rather talk to us online than pick up the phone to call. So we're really pleased with the, uh, with the progress that we're making with chat. Okay, interesting. When we talk about connectivity, obviously we're talking about connectivity with the local destination, and you know our research shows that there's that demand for, for more immersive um, connectivity with new cultures and whatnot that extends into the local neighborhood, um, the local region. You've recently, or within the last year, rolled out these destination managers and this sort of uh, new initiative. Could you talk a little bit about what motivated that and how that's evolving and how it will continue to evolve? So, so the motivation behind that is all about personalization, and it has to go beyond the air booking or the hotel booking. So we have these destination managers in top cities around the globe who provide consultation and expertise to our frontline travel agents and also work with our, our, our marketing team on providing social content around these different destinations. And so they are experts in the cities in which they live. Um, they have, have grown up travel. Uh, they have amazing connections with suppliers and vendors and partners within the market where they can really cultivate experiences, uh, customized experiences for card members. So it, it could be an itinerary of off, off the beaten path locations that they should visit you know, during the day, um, a neighborhood to neighborhood uh, shining and shopping and dining experience. So just a couple examples, our, our destination manager in London was able to organize a private tour of the Crown Jewels at the Tower of London. Um, I think even cooler, our destination manager in Paris uh, organized a private dinner at Versailles. Um, and I think my favorite example, and, and this one is, is definitely extreme for, for you know, ultra premium uh, card member, but we had a, a card member that was traveling with his family from Mexico, was gonna be in the city uh, during the holiday time last year, and mentioned that his kids loved the movie Home Alone 2, and wanted to recreate the scene at the end of the movie in the hotel room, which was bringing Christmas uh, to the hotel room. So the destination manager worked with, worked with their contacts um, to, to develop this experience, um, and even on the day, worked with the partner to actually execute on the experience. And so they go out to dinner, and they come back, and the hotel room was, it was a Christmas wonderland. They had a Christmas tree, and lights, and presents under the tree, and music, and desserts. And you know, as a parent myself, I can only imagine mm -hmm. the joy on the kids' faces when they walked in to that and um, just to be able to, to be able to provide that that level of personalization and differentiation it's all about the people you know for us that are behind the scenes and Ed Bastian alluded to it earlier and so did Arnie as well um, the people are what the people at American Express are what will help us differentiate in the future okay as you're developing these new initiatives um, both online and um, with the destination managers and in destination, the, the travel advisor, your travel insiders, um, have to keep educating themselves and keep learning. Um, we've had a lot of different discussions about technology and customer experience, but do, how do you see the travel advisor's role evolving over the next three to five years? So we continually hear over and over again that that, that um, our travelers and our customers, they still want high touch. And so we're well aware that they have access to a myriad of information, whether it's user-generated content or traveler reviews. But at the end of the day, they're looking for that personalization and they're looking for kind of the next level. And so in the, in the research we were talking about earlier, 41% 40, uh, uh, of respondents said they're still looking for an expert itinerary in the destinations that they go to to find all the hidden 
hidden treasures. And another 36% uh, of, of folks that responded in this survey are, um, are looking for experts to tell them where to go and, and, and what to see next. And so as the needs uh, of the traveler evolves, uh, so does the traveler counselor. And you know, we talked about technology, so it's not just being on the phone, but it's also you know, being available via text or uh, being available in click, you know, click, click to chat. And so um, at the end of the day, we want to be uh, channel agnostic. And if we can provide a seamless and streamlined experience for our card members um, anywhere they are in part of the, in, in the, in the decision-making process, that is, that's where the Traveler Council will be in five years. It's interesting to hear that there's that high percentage of people that still want that guided experience, that curated, um, sort of escorted, you know, um, experience through that journey of research. And then when you get to the destination, just by what we're hearing now, it's just a matter of customizing it more, personalizing it more, finding um, that more immersive or deeper experience in the destination, but really having the, the travel advisor sort of be that conduit for that sharing of knowledge. Both the travel advisor, which is like your destination manager in the destination, and the client-facing advisor as well. All right, um, that's it. So thank you very much for sharing that today. Thanks okay. so much. After.